I have the full force of the Navy, Army, Marines behind me. You're a fool, a fool. You're a fool to screw with a federal judge. And if you don't understand that, I'll make you understand it. First, you're expressly prohibited from retaining any legal counsel. Should you retain any legal counsel, the receiver may move the court to find you in contempt of the receiver order. You want to challenge the court order? I'll have the marshals behind me. I'll come to your house, pick you up. I'll put you in jail. I can seize your property, do anything I need to do to enforce my orders. So any failure to comply with this order is contempt, punishable with lots of dollars, punishable with jail, dead. When you see somebody's individual assets or corporate assets, you have to have a hearing, you have to give someone due process under the Fifth Amendment, and you have to give someone enough resources to fight the fight. The ruling that ended up seizing Jeff's assets uh, was backdated and took place without his presence. Ex parte communications resulted in a hearing that he never was given a notice to attend. We have a fundamental right to be secure in our persons, papers, and effects against all unreasonable search and seizure. None of these conditions were met in Jeff's case. Because once you lose the money, you can't get it back for the most part because the receivers are immune, the court is immune. Number three is destruction of evidence and immunity, is the fact that he had friends, friends that declared immunity for all the attorneys involved that had touched Jeff's money at any time. As someone who's placed into receivership, you're cut off from your assets and the ability to defend yourself. How on God's green earth, in the U.S. court system, could a citizen be told, as Jeff was, you don't even have the right to an attorney. And worse, when you had attorneys, you're using them too much. The language of civil process was used to accomplish a virtual uh, uh, house arrest situation. Everything but the ankle bracelet. Really, uh, a slave He's the first person to experience 21st century United States slavery since 1865. Jeff Barron, an internet pioneer who invented technology competitive with Google during the early days of the internet, launched his business from a small apartment with less than $500, eventually achieving over 50 million website users per month. As a juvenile diabetes sufferer since the age of three, he initiated a trust fund with the goal of finding a cure and dedicated virtually all of his earned wealth to that cause. In 2011, Dallas Federal Judge Royal Ferguson put Jeff into an unprecedented human receivership in order to illegally loot all of his property, including his diabetes trust fund valued at just under $1 billion. All of his possessions were redistributed to attorneys, judges, and Chinese cyber pirates, all the while denying his constitutional right to representation by an attorney and right to a trial. What's more, the case had already been fully settled when this happened. For the first time since 1865, Jeff Barron, an American citizen, was placed in virtual slavery, complete with a slave master. Even though the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals overturned Judge Ferguson's ruling in 2013, the case is still open and Jeff's property has yet to be returned to him. What did he do to warrant this? Jeff was accused causing delays in an already settled lawsuit and supposedly not paying his lawyers enough money. To this date, Jeff has paid over $8 million to lawyers and those accusations have been proven to be completely fabricated. This case sets a precedent for all Americans. Mr. Barron's constitutional rights were indefinitely stripped and suspended. Jeff Barron was never charged with any crime and had no debt. All of Jeff's property was confiscated, his assets, his home, his cell phone and documents, all liquidated and distributed to government lawyers. Jeff was literally made property of the court in order to work indefinitely for the court and court's lawyers without compensation. The judge gave immunity to himself and all other perpetrators of these illegal acts so that he would have no recourse. With this precedent, a judge may seize any American's property and place him in virtual slavery without due process and without any liability. This judge threatened to use the military, the marshals, which he actually used to haunt Jeff's mother. You have this, this guy, this judge, who just decided, as he put it in his own words, Apparently, there's a lot of money to be had here, quote unquote. But I'd say that there are definitely cases where you gotta say, what just happened? If Jeff got a heart attack tomorrow, he would have to ask permission by default because they're not done complying with the reversal. This is the United States of America. This sounds more like the Soviet Union. 
Rod Serling should come out and introduce the episode that week. I filed an objection. That, that was an absurd request. H how can we give you a million dollars based on this? You know, that's what I basically said to the court. You know, I mean, it's offensive. The precedent that's been established here is that the law is situational. We're taking a big step with Jeff. It's also wrong for anyone to look the other way because we're next. This is a test case. We know how those go. And, uh, you know, it starts here and we know how to finish it here.